I think I got that one shortcut. So yeah, I'm pretty set for shortcuts here. I made sure to do that this time. Didn't want to have another Legarius moment where I had to go through the entirety of Kanehurst Castle again. That would be annoying as hell. So what's up here then? Another hunter? It better not be. Well, what am I going to do about it if it's not? I just kind of got to deal with it if it is. Uh, I kind of expected that. Insect. Oh! Well, I guess that would explain what they're talking about. Oh, I mean, that's a nice place to put it. It's actually quite, uh, quite a good ambush, I gotta say. Oh, great, another thing I can't use. At least I'm picking them up for if I ever do get the arcane, I could use them. We just gotta count for something. So, is there anything left in here? No, okay. That's a new word I'm gonna come up with. No, okay. It means no and okay. If you couldn't put that together. Ooh, what's this say? When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. And when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Hell, that's, uh, good to know, I suppose. Always want to know when the womb's going to be full with child. Well, I guess. Probably means like an old one, baby, but a great one, baby. But who the hell are you, and are you hostile? No, he's not. Reeks of rune and time for execution. So you're basically saying kill him. Oh, well, let me talk to him first. Did you just tell me to jump off a cliff, you old son of a bitch? You better not tell me to do that again. Respect me enough to actually speak. You son of a bitch. I told you not to tell me to jump off a cliff again. Maybe next time you'll have some damn consideration before telling someone to jump off a cliff. Jackass. Holy crap, I got an elder sign. Well, the great ones are fucked now. Oh. My bad. Yeah. You're supposed to jump, Bach. He didn't. He was just trying to help you. I don't need that kind of help telling me to jump off a cliff. Jerk thing to do. Okay, so now that we're back, I have no idea what to expect down here. I'm guessing this is a whole new area down here. I hate to think this is a boss already. But if it is, got the old bolt paper at the ready. All my eyes. Oh, great. This looks like a boss arena. It sure does. Bolt is effective. I suppose it probably is. It usually is. Time for hunting, eh? Okay. Okay, mysterious uh, benefactor. Oh, God. Is that Rom? Someone mentioned Rom the Vacuous Spider, and... Uh, I hope that's not him. Can I, like... Hello? It's a mindless beast. They always are, Barak. Stop trying to be polite to things. Oh, god damn it. I, hope it's not. I was hoping that would actually do some damage. Oh, god. Suppose I probably should have saw that coming. There's always more spiders. Always more, oh god. Always more. Oh, damn it, you're supposed to be stupid and come at me. Come on, then. I'm not gonna just... Well, I guess it's actually a good opportunity to use the big, wide-sweeping arcs. Oh, that doesn't do jack for damage from the front. Okay. Oh, I thought that... I'll break your crap. I'll break the mask if I have to. I don't care. Just slow and steady is going to win this race, hopefully. That was, uh, actually not what I wanted to do at all. Alright, fine. I'm not going to just ignore the spiders. I'm assuming that's probably one strategy, but I'm not doing that. Because that would be careless and probably downright stupid. 
They have turning speed of a tank. That is to say, not very good, apparently. So just make some hit and run attacks, whittle it down, and hopefully she doesn't keep spawning it. Well, I'm assuming it's she, because I don't know if you've tried as a male, it's kind of hard to procreate by oneself. And I'm pretty sure spiders work by, uh... Actually, I have no idea how spiders work, nor do I really want to know. But I'm assuming it's a female spider. Uh, not the... Not that the name really gives it away, but, you know, spiders usually, if they're female, they, you know, do that. Okay, it's only you and me, Big Mama. I'm gonna kick your ass now. Wow, you really don't do much. Well, not yet. I'm assuming this is phase two, and she probably starts a whole new, whole new thing here. Oh, yes, she does. Oh, she actually does stuff now. That's fantastic. Ow, Jesus, that hurts. Okay, gotta... Gotta work on that. Apparently, if you run left and forward, it doesn't actually hit you, though. Well, I just gotta remember to do that when she does, when she rears up on her hind legs and try and delete these, delete these. Try and get rid of these as soon as I can in the process. So we're going to be doing a lot of sprinting, I see. Just got to do some good stamina management in order to do so. Take the one on the left here. Actually, no, we're not because I'm going to... Oh, I didn't run toward her. You got to run toward her, not just forward, period. My bad. Just take the opportunities as they... Oh, Jesus, what are you doing? Well, it's a good thing I ran. My cowardly self saved my behind there. Oh shit, dude, if you're just gonna... You're just gonna have to play unlocked on here because that's the way you do it, it seems. Uh, bag it up. Good call, Barak. Good call. Just gotta keep digging, taking it nice and slow. Because I do way too much damage at this point in the game. I don't know when you're supposed to fight her, but I'm... Gonna guess it's probably not this late. I'm guessing you're supposed to go here as soon as you kill Shadows of Yarn and not screw around in Kanehurst. But that's not fun. We're doing things my way. And I fight bosses out of order. Because that's the fun way to do it. Finding the bosses that you can. And fighting them to your heart's content. Oh, run forward and left. No, that's a big old ex arcane explosion. Did not know she also did that. I thought that was going to be the Reign of Ice. Yeah, that thing's not that bad. It's just it's going to be annoying to actually fight it and recognize when it's doing the Arcane versus when it's doing the Reign of Ice. That should be an easy fight. Okay, let's try that again. I have a plan for the second phase and the third phase or whatever, whatever the phases are. I have a plan for them that I'm just going to use the Molotov cocktails and just beat the ever-loving hell out of them because they tend to cluster a lot and I'm guessing fire probably works rather well. That's a guess, but it is a educated guess. You're gonna, I was gonna say, you're gonna just gonna run away from all your friends there? That's kinda your safety net. Probably better, yeah, not take that, uh, take that opportunity. I think that's a, no, that's not a grab, that's just a stab motion. Oh well. Hardest part's the ice. Because if I'm near it and it does the ice, I don't know what to do. I guess that wasn't sp so special yet after all. Uh, if I'm near the thing and I, and she does that ice, if I try and go near it, I have a chance on getting hit by her flopping around immediately after. And if I try and run away from it, I get hit by the ice. What do you do there? I don't know. I guess you're trying to abuse invincibility frames. I don't know what to do. That's why I have so much problems with it so far. That was sheer luck. Not gonna try and take credit for it. All right. I could also try and use the strategy I learned last time to just frickin' like cheese the second phase if I can get near it after I kill the spiders, I suppose. But before I do, let me heal here. And I really don't need to use another bolt paper, so we're fine. Crap. Well, here we are. So we meet again. Phase two, my arch nemesis. 
Oh, if you look up, you can actually see where they're gonna land. Good job on that, Barak. Good, good observational skills. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's a little bit of intelligence here. Maybe get through this crap. Oh, jeez. That's not intelligent, though. That. Is... Oh, no. Barely gone way in time for that. Oh, damn it. No, stop running like that. You do it at the worst times. Where are you landing? Whoop, yep. Yeah. That's actually kind of fun. I mean, you actually look up and try and do that instead of just going, oh god, and just running and dodging randomly. Don't do that. Yeah, this second part's the hardest one for me just by, you know, the merit that you have to actually dodge the magic spells while also trying to take down adds. That is not my forte, but now that I've learned the secret, it's not as bad. And not as bad. They only got hit by one, I think. Whoop. Yep. Yep. Sweet. I feel like I've learned something. Learning something is always a good thing. Well, except when you learn the inner machinations of this universe and then you go insane. But other than that, learning is good. Which, I guess, is the main point of this game, that... Curiosity is a dangerous, dangerous thing. So, you know, you gotta have it in moderation, you know? I can't believe I just tried to, like, blindly try and dodge this crap earlier. And wondered why it didn't work that well. That was kind of a stupid thing to do now, wasn't it? Your ass is mine now, Rom. What are you gonna do about it? I mean, if you're not gonna do anything, hell, I might as well keep swinging. You didn't really teleport anywhere, you know that, right? Oh, damn. He's like, I no, you know what, I like you. I don't want to run away from you. And thus, the third phase was born. I'm guessing more of the same from the second phase. I really screwed the pooch on taking advantage of that, uh... Of that, though, I gotta tell you, I really did. I guess now I should get more practice at trying to dodge, that's all. Just look at it in a positive way. If you look at it in a negative way, you're just gonna get frustrated. Whoop. Oh, damn. Of course, if you mess up the dodging, it doesn't matter how much you know about it in, in advance. Well, that's actually good, thank you for that. Actually, I never did start using my Molotovs. <laughs> Nerd! Can't throw him very far. Oh, yep, yep. Ow, my head. I have a concussion now. Oh, seriously? Yep. Alright. They he seem, or She seems to have a delay after that attack, so you have a few minutes to recoup your losses health-wise and maybe get a kill on a spider or two. Of course, you still gotta be damn careful with the spiders, but she does seem to have a bit of a delay, which is... I did not know they could do that from behind. I guess I learned something else. Okay. I don't want to be sprayed with webbing, that's for sure. Oh. These things do so... These bosses do so much health damage at this point in the game. I feel like my vitality is so under-leveled for this point. I do, it feels like, oh my lord, how do I ever, like, if I had, if I had like 10 vitality, it would be so much worse, or whatever I started with, which I contemplated doing, just starting, just going the entire playthrough with, like, starting vitality, and I would have died so quickly to these things. I mean, yeah, it would have been funnier, damn it. Why does a spider do that much, da do that much damage? Okay, so let's try this again. I went back to Hunter's Dream after I learned about the uh, weakness to the flame sprayer and upgraded it. Some might say it's a cheap strategy, but in my opinion, if the flame sprayer was not meant to be used, it wouldn't be in the game, now would it? So that's what we're going to exploit. 
Being properly prepared is kind of important in these games, after all. It's actually kind of half the battle. If you're not prepared, you're going to have a hell of a time with it. Though this one is kind of on the on the one side that could be considered possibly an exploit, but, I mean, it's a weapon. It's an enemy. You're meant to use them, so... I say nay. There is no problem with it. I notice if those things sidestep, they usually actually, you know, jump forward. And the jump is what really hurts. That's what killed me last time. Actually, no. What did kill me last time? You think you'd remember that. It killed you. It, it's kind of important that you know that. But yeah, the most dangerous thing about this fight is actually seemingly the spiders. Which I am not really respecting all that much right now, which is probably a dangerous thing to do, but... but so, what do these spiders drop, anyway? I guess you could farm these things if you really want inside, but I don't really need it. And by farm, I mean kill all of them, and then use the bold hunter's mark, and then fall in again, and then use another one. You're gonna... You know, you're gonna use a lot of bold hunter's marks, but they're relatively cheap, and you get enough uh, blood echoes to, from these things to probably pay for one trip or two. Oh, no, you don't. You don't get any echoes from killing him. My bad. Never mind, I'm... That's false information. I just needlessly spread out there. I would have thought there'd been blood echoes. I mean, the phalanxes in uh, Demon Souls had blood had uh, souls when you killed them. But you had to go and tick me off, didn't you? You're gonna learn what happens when things tick me off. Yeah, suck on that. Don't you do it. No, 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 damn it. Shit. Well, we're in phase two either way, so the cheesing method did not work. I get to face it legitimately either way now. So, alright, fine. Should be easy enough to do so. Just gotta do what I did before. Get through phase two and into phase three. Phase three is really just another phase two, I, I think. Bag it up. That's Rom's really not doing much this phase two for some reason. Oh, damn. I'm not sure why, but I am damn sure not gonna argue with it. I mean, hell, if you don't wanna... If you don't care about me killing your offspring, I'm not gonna complain, honey. That's... Not usually mother's prerogative, though. I mean, usually they kind of care about their offspring a little bit more than you do, seemingly. No. I mean, this is really just... I, 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 there's no point even using the flame spray at this point. I'm really just using Quicksilver bullets. It's not really cheesing in any way. It's just like a quicker way to do damage. I mean, I'm doing... I actually do more damage with the sword. Like, I remember doing like 2,000 damage, 1,400 damage, things like that. That was a dangerous, dangerous maneuver to try and pull off, I think. I don't know what... I don't know what that thing just did. I had to try and make sure there wasn't going to be ice falling on my head. Just stop right in the middle of it. Nearly got killed by the spider in the process. Like I said, the spiders are the most dangerous part of this fight, seemingly. Of course, the ice is the one that hits me right after I say that. But, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Or something. Invincibility frames for the win, Alex. Well, you're not going to do anything. Hell, I might as well. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was close. That was far too close for comfort. Oh, damn it. I remember the jump. Really hurts if you get hit by the wrong jump with those spiders. But I think I actually do... Like I said, I think I do far more damage if I actually just just uh, swing normally instead of using this flame sprayer. I think I'm actually hindering myself more than anything by doing this flame sprayer strategy. But killing spiders with the flame is just so satisfying. Purifying them, man. Oh god. I don't know if rolling's actually faster or not. It's just a habit I've gotten into over the years. I mean, if, I, if I see something like big AoE, I just roll away. 
I say that, and then I proceed not to roll away and actually sprint like an intelligent person. It's always hilarious when those spiders miss. But yeah, when that ice rain starts, you have to look, see where the spiders are. If there are spiders near you, I mean, if you have very much health at all, normally you can live through the ice. The spiders are the ones you gotta make sure you are not gonna get hit by a leap immediately afterwards, because that's basically instant death. At least in my experiences. If you get hit by the ice and the spiders, so, you know, be aware of that, and just be sure you're not gonna... Be... Oh, God. I was gonna say, make sure you're not caught in the in the ice. Again, another instance of do as I say, not as I do, god damn it. <laughs> you dick. Waiting for me to do that. You jerk ass. Don't do it. Alright. Please don't keep doing that. I gotta get near you and start swinging like a dick. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, damn it. Oh, that's a bigger explosion, it seemed like. Yes. I was gonna say, I don't know if that's actually killed it or not. I probably should give it another swing. Yeah, wrong the vacuous spider. So, um... What, uh... Now what? Do I go over this landmark over here, or...? It's the only thing I can see that I can really... I guess, I, I guess that's what you do. Who the hell? Oh, that's the queen. Because the C-section... Well, I think that's a very rudimentary C-section, but... Oh, good job, Callus. You successfully pulled a Majora's Mask and caused the moon to crash into the Earth. Oh, and the infant, which is very significant lore-wise, because I'm pretty sure that means I just set a whole load of events into motion that I don't even know what I did, out of ignorance. Good job on that, Barak. Probably shouldn't have killed that. That was keeping up... Actually, I have no idea what he was doing. I remember something about a spider was keeping the old ones at bay. Oh, God, what did I do? I think I remember reading on Lore Note where they said the spider was, like, the guardian or something, so I just kind of killed that. Oh, dear. Well. Had to happen one way or the other, I suppose. Ritual secret broken. Seek the nightmare newborn. I think I was right. That, uh, that's not really a good thing to be right about, though. Wait a minute. I'm in the... Oh, Jesus. I, oh great, well, I, that door is now open, that's, uh, I guess that's how you open the door. Alright, I think someone said this was like Yahar Ghoul or something like that. 